in this church. And we pray, Lord, that you would wrap your arms uh, around those that are hurting and struggling this morning that have requested prayer, Father. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would minister to my dad, whatever it is that's causing the swelling in his throat. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would touch it uh, and that that would go down before tomorrow happens. For Debbie, we ask, Lord, that you would just comfort her and her family as they are at the hospital. Uh, Lord, you're not just in churches like this, but you're at St. Louis University Hospital. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you would minister and that you would be there and that you would oversee what the physicians do, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord. You are great. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. amen and amen. Well, we had no church last Sunday. Makes me put the weathermen down a peg in my book. <laughs> but it is great to be here today. We're going to sing a couple songs. I uh, have a few announcements and I'll turn it over to my wife. We're going to sing the song Hosanna.
share this morning. So I'm going to bring the microphone down to my mother-in-law and let her tell the testimony. God is good, isn't he? Amen. Praise the Lord, he's always doing something good for us. Amen. Well, you know, uh, at our outreach month this week, uh, I had a lady came in and she was so excited. And she just loved on me. And she said, I want to thank you for giving me an evangel. It had an article in there that I read I have been smoking for I don't know how long, she said, but anyway, a good long while. And she said, I read that article, and a voice in me said, you can get rid of them cigarettes. And she said, I haven't smoked a cigarette since then. Hallelujah. So she had a little of her daughter or granddaughter with her, and she was addicted to prescription drugs. And uh, so she wanted us to pray for, for her that God would deliver her from that. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. And then, then we had a man who came to the Enrich lunch, and um, I, I don't know what his problem was or anything, but anyway, he went downstairs and ate, and he came up, and he said, oh, I feel so good. He said, he looked homeless. He said, I feel so good. He said, I went downstairs and I ate all this good food and those people gave me enough food that I can have supper tonight. Ain't God good? He'll do anything and we'll just put a little effort into it. I just want to praise his name this morning. Amen. God is good. And he expects us to share his love with the world. Right. Amen. Amen. If that means passing out an evangel. Mom has passed out evangels for two years. Uh, this past December, they stopped making the evangel. You'll notice if you look out there, there's a different kind of magazine called Vital. I think they're putting it out twice a month. Uh, I'm sorry, twice, once every two months. Um, but she passed that evangel out. And when that lady read that article, she realized that if God did it for them, he could do it for her. I mean, God still delivers. Right. He still right. saves. He still ministers. He still cares for people through us. Amen? Amen? Amen. There are several announcements that I need to make this morning. So I just brought me a bulletin in here today. First, uh, on the left-hand side of your bulletin, it says dueling bake sale. Now, this has been in the works for some time. Last year, we had a fundraiser, and the men won the fundraiser. And because the men won the fundraiser, uh, Go, all man. the ladies ended up fixing the food for the Valentine's banquet, and it just brought in some funds. Well, this year we've got a fundraiser uh, to help get us a different soundboard. The soundboard that we're using right now has been borrowed. It is old, and it doesn't work perfectly. It only has half as many channels as the other one did. And so it's going to take approximately $1,400. So the men, we had our lunch, and we've raised 300. Uh, we're going to have our dueling bake sale today, and then the women are doing the lunch on the first Sunday of February. And when that happens, of course, uh, we'll have raised money towards this. But the loser uh, will be responsible for fixing the food, cleaning up the mess, uh, putting on the entertainment. Am I forgetting anything they're supposed to do? Uh, for the Oh, and decorating for the Valentine banquet. I was a little alarmed uh, when my mother-in-law started calling all the ladies in the church and reminding them to bake stuff today, but uh, it'll be fine either way. But when the service is concluded, uh, there will be two tables set up on the way out, and you're welcome to look, and if there's anything that speaks uh, deliciousness to you, um, you can give them what they ask at the ladies' table, at the men's table, give them what they ask and a donation. Okay, <clears throat> that's just for fun. Um, then on the other side, there was a couple things I wanted to mention. Uh, the ladies are having a fellowship meeting. There is a sign-up sheet out on the information center uh, as you first come in the door there. Um, if you would like to be part of that, just sign up. And on Thursday, we're having a game night at the church. Friday? 
I counted wrong. 18. Yep, that's five. That's Thursday. That's not Thursday. That's Friday. Friday evening, we're having a potluck snack here at the church, and we're just going to play games and enjoy each other's fellowship. Uh, just a time of relaxation. And um, if you're able to come to that, please do. We have a great time when we do this. It's been a while since we've had a game night at the church. Uh, Benno says, Valentine's party, workers yet to be determined. <laughs> and then uh, the other thing that's important is the OBI choir. How many of you enjoy the OBI choir? Yes. I am so impressed every time the OBI choir comes and sings. They are incredible, um, incredible young kids that are dedicating their life to the Lord. They probably don't want to be called kids, Monica, but even you're a kid <laughs> to me. You know how that works. Um, they're going to be coming. They're not able to be here on a Sunday morning. They'll be here Sunday night, February the 1st. The first Sunday in February. They'll be here Sunday evening, and they'll be ministering. So uh, please try to make it Sunday evening uh, for that. But we're going to try to get hotel rooms for them all. And it's a lot of kids. And uh, if you would like to help sponsor a hotel room, just put an offering between now and then in the... In the, so just fill below envelope and just write OBI, and we'll know that it's for their housing, and uh, we're going to be getting a place for them to stay. Um, we're looking forward to it, and uh, I'm telling you, I believe God has great things in store this year. Amen. Amen. Uh, it won't be too long. We don't have a date scheduled, but it'll probably be in the middle of February that we'll be having our next business meeting, our annual business meeting on a Sunday evening, and uh, be looking for more details. Uh, coming when we get that solidified. Sister Trevor is going to come at this time as she makes her way over here. We'll have our brother come to receive our Sunday morning tithes and offerings. Sister Donnie, how about standing and praying over this offering?
page 263. This was a request by one of our children. And I love it that they love the hymns. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so this was a request by one of them. He set me free. That's for